Take a look at this picture. And what do you see? A presenter of rapidly growing fame, helping publicise the plight of and raise funds for children desperately in need of help in some of the most deprived areas of the world, or a self-styled white saviour engaging in an act of colonialism and poverty porn. Stacey Dooley has found herself under the most extraordinary and surely misinformed attack from Labour's David Lammy, never one to miss the opportunity to seize on any whiff of possible offence for posing with the boy. As she raised funds for comic relief, her crime appeared to be... she was white. Had it been the charity co-founder, Lenny Henry, or, say, Ian Wright, everything presumably would have been fine. Well, here's an observation for Looney Lammy and his ilk. Fair-minded white people are allowed to show compassion and want to tackle inequality. And if you don't like it, Mr Lammy, why don't you go there yourself? Exactly. Oh, that's right, you were invited. But turn the opportunity down. I feel like I need to educate you now, Nick. Please. About the white saviour phenomenon. Please. Even though we're calling it a white saviour narrative, because that's what it is, there is a history of British people going to the dark continent, as they used to call Africa, and rescuing savages by giving them charity while the British state looted and pillaged their economies. By the way, it continues to do that today. While British people got to feel good about helpfully rescuing these poor children. You know, I've done quite a lot of work on this, and this actually started during the Biafra War in Nigeria, when all these images of starving children were suddenly beamed across the world in newspapers on Fleet Street at an era when you were probably already working in them. And it's true, there were absolute atrocities happening in Biafra, in Nigeria. Children were dying. Mm. But the way the British press reported it had absolutely zero context. It was savage tribes killing each other. No mention of the fact that this was a British colony until a few years earlier. No mention of the fact this was the oil-producing region. No mention of the fact that Britain was arming one side in the conflict. And British people responded by trying to adopt Biafran babies en masse, take them out so that they could give them a better life in Europe. And this they were is wrong so to do? Because that is not the solution. The solution is not to just take out African babies away from these savages who are killing them. The reason they were starving was because Britain was complicit in a conflict that was devastating Getting away from their Stacey country. Dooley and now, yeah. now, just to bring it up to date, that's, that narrative's never been challenged and it's never changed. What we have now is very well-meaning people, and by the way, I haven't attacked Stacey Dooley personally. I think she does mean very well. I think everyone who takes part in Comic Relief wants to help. Oh. My problem with Comic Relief is that it's a massive distraction from the real issue. You know, Stacey Dooley, when she responded to David Lammy, said this is about African kids' lives. If you care about African kids', African kids' lives, then know that the 150 billion or so that goes to Africa in aid is dwarfed by billions of pounds by the amount we still extract from the continent every year, largely through British companies okay. who do not pay tax, who well, repatriate uh, their assets. If you care about let's if talk if about you want to help, to if you want to help little on. children like the one okay. in that picture, then why don't you address well, your role okay. in a, a system ideas. that continues uh, to exploit and destroy uh, their economy? I've got a few ideas. Right. But okay. Let's get into so, others. So Lammy last week, yeah, I thought his colonial imagery references insulted, they were hateful and insulting to the people who give in this country. That talking about white, he talked about white people like they were this privileged bunch of people who were throwing crumbs to oppress blacks. You insult every single person in this country when you do that. You know, if Lamy stepped outside of the, the Westminster bubble for now again, he would see the profile of the people who give to charity. And it's not rich, white, privileged people. It's working class people. It's your old, your elderly that lady in Pontiac. Let, let me, Karen, you've had a long talk that, now. That's just Wrong, can, well, can I can I just can I just speak now? Because you've you've talked quite a lot on this. He insults people. He insults them one because they're white, which is racist in itself. He insults their their intentions for doing what they're doing. The idea that every white person gives to charity to make themselves feel good about themselves is nonsense right. and it's hateful and it's hurtful. And if Lamy keeps on talking like this, he will actually stop white people from giving. Would that make you happy? In a can sentence. You're completely wrong. Right. Lamy was invited to go by Comic Relief, and the reason he said no... Because it's a PR exercise. because he said this, isn't, this okay. isn't about putting a black face it was on a, he said, he, What he it's said was, because okay, it's a PR exercise. It's not okay. only okay. white people. It's okay. a narrative. All charity raising is okay, PR. It's a narrative Greg, about you have European mind the narrative. supremacy. Okay. Starving kids Seriously. in Africa That's why you need care. a history lesson. Starving kids in Africa Carol. don't care where That is exactly why you need a history lesson. We're going to have a cup of tea, man. OK, you've been, and you've been with charity drives. Yes, your view. I go every year to Uganda where I... My wife and I support a range of... Which is where the shot was taken, in, by the way. In, yep. Yeah, where that shot was taken. Yep. Where, uh, and I, we, we support a range of, of projects. Um, I, I suspect 
that if that, that Stacey put that up herself, not with Comic Relief, and Comic Relief wouldn't have put it up quite like that. But in the end of the day, I've seen the work that Comic Relief do in places like Uganda, and I think we should applaud them. Yes. Right. And I think Absolutely. we therefore should give. And if you have you have pictures like that, which help raise money. And I've got to tell you, in the parts of Uganda I go to, they need money. Right. Okay. And the idea that, that the money's going to come from the government, it doesn't happen. Yes. Right. Uh, and the idea that, that there is, there are, you can do some work there. Whether you need to publicise it, how you do it, right. that, I think that's a subtle difference. But in the end, last year, Comic Relief, or the year before last, I think they made 76 million. It's over the years, over a billion, in, a billion, over a billion yeah. in total. Yeah. Yeah. And I now. think the advantages uh, of that. Dis outweigh the disadvantages. Right. So, as you know, I've, I've, I've been all over Africa you myself have, yeah. as well, OK? And I've seen a lot of aid money being abused. You know what I mean? People paying far too much for rent, driving around in cars, vehicle parks that are just stacked with stuff that isn't being used, and money going which isn't actually reaching its intended target. For me, you know, you can give your money to charity and, and you know, you can give it to whatever charity you like. And anyone who's trying to make a difference in this world and do well is, is doing good, in my opinion, whether they do it over there or do it over here. Personally, I think we've got too many of our own people sleeping okay. in the gutters, underfed and, and living in poverty yeah. for me to give any money to anybody else. We just else. need to clarify, we, we, we all know that Comic Relief would not get, get their, their money be used in that fashion, just to clarify this that. Is, this isn't, it's and, not just You're about... being unfairly predictive, because I think you agree with what Comic Relief are doing, you're just troubled by the picture, is that fair? I used to work in, in development and aid in African countries. I've, I've been in 20 or 30 African countries doing this kind of work. There is nobody who's more committed to trying to alleviate poverty on the African continent than me. My issue is twofold. One is with the idea that the, the the reason Africa has problems is because it doesn't get enough charity. And second, the way we do it. So Comic but, Relief last year said it wasn't going to put out white saviour type images anymore. That's why I think you're right, Greg, that they wouldn't have put this out. Because they understand that you need to be sensitive to the fact that there is a history to Africans being portrayed as passive victims. But I'm not being glib. Had it been Lenny Henry holding the little boy, you're, you're relaxed about it. It doesn't I'm honestly solve not being the problem glib. because what it's would you still do? a narrative about British people going and saving Africa. Watch this. This is, this, is, this is a way of showing people what is wrong with the, with the image of Africa that we're portraying through these campaigns. It's very effective. In no way gets a freezing. It's time for us to care. This heat's enough for no way. If Africans would share. If Africans keep thinking, we can't contribute. You've just seen radiator aid for Norway because they're so freezing there and Africans have so much abundance of warmth that right. they should donate. Now, if all you knew about Norway was what you saw in that video, you would think it was a very wretched place full of freezing, miserable people, wouldn't you? Right. That is the equivalent to the I, picture that most British people have of the African okay. continent Stacey Dooley because it comes attacked. from this aid. Is, thing. She says, she's put this out, she said, David, is the issue with me being white? Genuine question. Because if that's the case, you could always go over there and try to raise awareness yourself. And... and, and She's absolutely right. And on did that. you see his response? Uh, yes, I did. He, he said, "No, it's not just because well, you're white. I don't think me going out there well, would be any different." He made it sound like he, when you call the, when you, you call the charity raiser. You don't can I, understand can I speak? the issue, Carol. Can I, can I speak, Afwa? This is not your subject. You don't understand it. Everything yeah, because you're saying maybe, is, I'm, is it because I'm not black. I don't understand. It's, well, you can try. try. You can try. try. I do understand. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of time. If you ask me to shout, let me say one thing. There's no point being here. I don't think the the babies and the staff people in Africa give us stuff how the money is raised or who is raising it as long as they get food and clean water to drink and Greg their lives in. are Let's safe. Let's get Greg back in. That Greg. is exactly it's the problem. That's the problem. Actually, you are the to, problem. Answer your, to, to answer your point, half of the money that, that Comic Relief raised now is spent in this country. It's not... The days when it all, all went to the third world isn't true. It most of it is in this country. But there is... If, when you, if you go to the Uganda, as I say, I do every mm. year, once you get outside of Kampala, the poverty is still pretty uh, widespread. And you do still need, they do still need support. Whether this is one way of raising money is the truth. And if it, it could be that if, if Comic Relief don't do it in that particular way, yeah. you wouldn't get the 70 odd million pounds. And I think that's the choice you take. Really. I'm just saying we should okay. think about the okay. cost as well of doing right. it this way.